All right, Greg on Tesla. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, now that we have the dip switch, the dip switch is set and this set to eight. That's for the 50 amp service. Your service will be different, so reference the manual. Um, on the bottom of the unit, there's still a hole, so I'm gonna put this cap on and it just screws right in. And you can use a screwdriver to tighten that if you want. And it should be nice and tight, that way no moisture gets in there. So now, remember this panel that we took off the front? We unscrewed it, there were the six screws. I have them in the little bin. This is the LED. The way to get that LED working is this cable right here. And it's taped in here. So I'm going to detach that. I want to be very careful with this because I don't want to rip it. Okay. All right, and that gives it, that comes out a little bit. It has a little notch on here, and this has a notch. So they connect together. You got that? All right, so now that's notched. I'm going to take that piece of tape off. Now. Put that back on and let me get the screws you want to make sure that when this goes on it really goes on because that has to seal let me get one of these screws in just to make sure i have the right Okay, we got one in there. Now what I should do, before I screw all the, all the other six of these in here, I really should power this on and see what happens. I don't have the car in the garage. We're getting a uh, rain, it's starting to rain, so you can probably hear that. So I've got two of the screws in. Remember, beyond the screws, all we got to do is put this on, right? So what I'm going to do, and keep the camera on that, I'm going to turn this on. I'm going to turn the circuit breaker on, which will turn this on, okay? This is the moment of truth. That looks good. All right, so let me get the other screws on real quick. We'll get the front plate on, and then we will clear this out and plug it into the car. The, mag the magic of all this is, wow, I've never screwed anything together so quickly. The magic of this is once you plug it in your car, you gotta make sure that the port on your car goes from blue to green. If it doesn't go to green, it means your car is not getting power. So that's the deal. Okay, last two. And then when we put the faceplate on, there's that security screw, just so the faceplate doesn't fall off. Okay, so now we have the screw on the bottom. We have this completely mounted to the wall. We have all the screws on it. It's perfectly sealed. No air can get in there, nothing. Now when we put, when we took this off, remember it has these little clips. So they're really hard to see. So it goes on the top and this thing kind of snaps on here. Hold on. There you go, that's on. Now I'm gonna screw that in. Got one last little security screw.
right, everybody, we're going to clear the stuff out. We're going to get the car in here. We're going to plug it in and we'll be right back. All right, everybody, it is Greg on Tesla. This is the moment of truth. We've installed the wall connector. So now, green. The wall connector made it a little, little noise there. All right, it's doing power, so let's see what we're getting. We are getting 40 amps. All right, so let's see. Uh, current, and I can't change the amps above this. So it's definitely 40 amp because that's what we set the eight to, right on that, that dip switch. Um, so that will give 24 miles every hour. All right, perfect. So this is awesome, wonderful. Now 50 minutes remaining for getting up to the charge of whatever I was at, 216, and I, I set my little limit there. Um, <laughs> normally that would say eight hours on my 110 charger, so this is a huge change. All right, everybody, I hope you appreciated the video. I hope the videos, I hope this helps some of you. Um, I hope you have the, the same experience I did uh, with, with a real, uh, you know, one getting a unit from Tesla directly. Don't go through eBay. Hire an electrician for it, and uh, I think you'll appreciate it. So, good luck all.